my friends, today we're reading Betty Bunny Wants a Goal. Betty Bunny was a handful. She knew this because at her very first soccer, pra soccer practice, when she picked up the ball and ran away with it, her coach said, Betty Bunny, you are a handful. Betty Bunny knew that must mean she is the star of the team for her coach to say something so great about her. That night at dinner, Betty Bunny could not stop talking about the next day when she would play her very first soccer game. I am going to score 10 goals, she announced at dinner. Just try your hardest and we'll be proud of you, Kate said. Do I really have to go to the game, Henry said. It's soccer. There probably won't even be any goals, Bill said. There will be 10, Betty Bunny replied, and I'm going to score them. The next day, Betty Bunny's family was at the field to watch her play. Betty Bunny's friend, Alice, scored the first goal. Everyone cheered and clapped and patted Alice on the back. Betty Bunny was very sad. No one was cheering and clapping for her. My turn next, she called out. Betty Bunny tried her hardest to score a goal. She tripped on the ball and landed on her face. She missed the ball completely and kicked, on, and kicked her own foot. She hit the ball with her head, but that happened by accident when she wasn't paying attention. She did not score a single goal. I hate soccer, she yelled. Soccer is yucky. She spent the rest of the game sitting on the ground and picking grass. After the game, Betty Bunny's mother said, it was just your first game. I'm sure your next game will be better. No, Betty Bunny replied, I'm never playing again. The moment they got home, Betty Bunny ran up to her room. She stuffed her uniform, cleats, and soccer ball into the trash can. As she was pushing her soccer bedspread out the window, her brother and sister came into the room. Don't quit soccer, Kate said. Yeah, Henry added, mom and dad said I can't play my video game until we talk to you about, talk you out of it. So we didn't, so you didn't have fun today. We didn't have fun either, Bill said. Maybe next game will be better. Maybe you'll score a goal and maybe we won't have to go. But you'll never score a goal if you'd quit now, Kate said. You have to keep trying. Kate told Betty Bunny about the time she learned to ride her bike. It was hard at first, but she didn't give up, and soon she could ride a bike. Henry told her about the time he had trouble shooting spitballs. The first three spitballs missed the target, but he kept trying, and eventually he nailed Kate in the back of the head. Bill told her about the time he talked his little sister out of quitting soccer. At first, she didn't want to listen, but she kept trying until she finally agreed not to quit soccer. Why did she agree? Betty Bunny asked, because, Bill said, trying to think of a reason, at the end of the season, she gets a trophy no matter how bad she plays. Betty Buddy had never had a trophy. I want a trophy, she said, but I also want a goal. Then keep trying, Kate said. Betty Buddy dug her uniform out of the trash. Betty Buddy tried very hard to score a goal at her next game. Kick the ball now, Kate shouted. That's a good idea, Betty Buddy yelled back. But as she turned back to kick the ball, another girl was already doing it. Run faster, Henry said. Benny Bunny ran very, her very fastest right off the field and into a parking lot. Kick it, at your, kick it, kick it in your own net, Bill shouted. A goal is a goal. You shouldn't do that, right? <laughs> Silly. The game ended and Benny Bunny did not score a single goal, not even in her own net. On the drive home, Betty Bunny moaned sadly. I tried and I tried like you said. It's just two games. Don't give up, Kate said. Yeah, she's right, Henry added knowing that his parents were listening. Maybe you're just not that good, Bill suggested. Daddy, Bill said I'm not that good, Betty Betty Whale. Maybe he's right, Dad replied. What? Dad explained, trying is important, but if you want to get good at something, then you have to practice. And Bill, and since Bill is the one who realized that, he is going to help Betty Bunny practice soccer every day after school. Why can't I learn to keep my mouth shut, Bill said to himself. Maybe you need practice, Betty Bunny said helpfully. For a week, Betty, Bu Betty Bunny practiced soccer with Bill. At her next game, Betty Bunny scored her very first goal. Everybody clapped and cheered and patted her on the back. Next to the first time she tried chocolate cake, it was the happiest moment of her life. You see, her mother said, if you keep trying and if you practice, there's nothing you can't do. Betty Bunny felt good knowing that there was nothing she couldn't do. And that is why, as they were getting into the car, she said, I want to drive home. 
Betty Bunny, her mother said, laughing, you can't drive a car. Betty realized her mother was right. Yeah, she said, I have to practice first. Hope you liked the book, friends.